Yo, don't flop. Set the standard event number five. Fiddler's elbow. Make some noise right now. <laughs> I know all the comments love Bam right now, man. Shouts out Bam. I appreciate it. He's my fucking me. brother right now, man. Shouts out at Bam and Andy on Twitter, at Twitter, at Don't Flop on the Twitter as well. Don't Flop Shop is officially reopened. Massive apologies from all the team for how long it's been down for. Uh, but shouts to all of you who really wanted to cop the merchandise. It's back online right now. Don'tflopshop.com. Get all the shit you want to get from there. Uh, this is the main event of the fifth set of standard event. Uh, uh, yeah, even, sorry. Uh, it's gonna be very, very, very good. We just saw a fucking crazy battle between Flex Bliss and Agent. Last battle of the day, and today, I'm gonna let Bam say he's on the right. Let's do yeah. that. On my right hand side, I really had to insist that he come down for my birthday event, yeah? <clears throat> so make some noise for most pro! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Chessington world of adventure! <laughs> That's the most prop, yeah. Happy birthday to Bam as well, obviously. And uh, on the left hand side, last battle in a sick fucking clash with Adam the Rapper in the birthday. Hunger for more finalists from London, Ogmios. Make sure. <laughs> Me and Bam have been trying to scout oh, for a couple of months, man. As soon as we had the idea, we were like, we have to make this battle go down. Shouts to DC for agreeing to it. Main event, set the stand number five. Most prob, uh, off camera, has chosen it. He's going to go first. Okay. Round number one on him. Let's do this. This is a health warning, people. If your motion sickness or inner ear balance is sort of feeble, look away. You're about to witness a clash of appalling evil between two people that wobble about like a pair of warring weebles. <laughs> oh, all right, Juridicris. <laughs> um, I'm the latest hairy Jewish kid that Earth threw at him. Also called Adam, also knows what music is. If this is your idea of recycling, you're clearly quite new to it. <laughs> and I shall not wait to sound off great against your round odd face, and it must be weird for you to be near a new beardy Jew. Welcome to your ground hog day. <laughs> <laughs> He'll pause loads, but not because he's a hesitant, sad tool, it's because he's too intellectual to handle, so whenever he takes an extended breath in a battle, a subtitle appears like, please turn to page 10 of the manual. <laughs> anyway, it's time to lose, Ivan Ooze. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I get what you're trying to do. At first it was tough trying to write for you, then I realised your entire head was shaped like a shoe. <laughs> and a vagina too. I <laughs> See, I like your style, man. Blake's on a bars ting. And your hairline's not receding, just your face is advancing. <laughs> See, I know you're into trees and the like, and you've been a profound pronounced vegan for time, but me, I'm evil and snide. I yearn for nothing more than seeing him cry. So I'll casually point out now that plants scream when they die. <laughs> really, really. They, they let off this little frequency, right? That lets us know they have feelings inside. You vegetable murderer. You know what's disgusting me? Him never touching beef. And it's weird that you frequently suck on beats when you frequently suck on beats. <laughs> Murder is his scene, he's a disturbance to the peas. <laughs> Roasting peppers in a pan till they're burnt to third degrees, beating cucumbers to death with aubergines, scalping broccoli and shooting sweet corn in the knees. <laughs> See, being vegan is something I do not compute. When I'm feeling melancholy, I'm in a sombre mood. When he's been in melancholy, you molest dogs with fruit. <laughs> Seriously, stop it, dude. It's weird. <laughs> You're a strange guy. Your chin is both small and big at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and when we eventually have a child, I'd worry about the life it led. Because it wouldn't be so surprising when, with my nose and that giant wedge upside your neck, it would look like an Easter Island head. Let's go! Let's go! Make some noise! Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is your life. He was reared in South End, in a little suburb called Eastwood. <laughs> Where if they hear the sound of that big metal buzzer, they retreat to the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Picture this Egypt growing up in this setting, thinking he's a genius because he lives amongst cretins. Mm. bird brain savages, vulturous scavengers and his feeble chaffinch. I'm the bald eagle tearing you up in my talons. 
Cause I'm from a place where even the pigeons are talented. We shit all over. We shit all over your coastal town like those seagulls on laxatives. It took a village to raise this strange streak of maggotges into a raging free casado masochist. That goth kid, posh kid, lost kid in a one man mosh pit. Prob was a dark soul. South End's Donnie Darko. <laughs> Searching for his arsehole in the barcodes of his bath salts. <laughs> wow! <laughs> At school, you were the prefect. At school, you were one of the prefects. <laughs> Cause that's the revenge of the reject. <laughs> you even snitched on the class hamster. <laughs> you even snitched on the class hamster. Teacher's pet. <laughs> I got the maddest research game, you can't test me. Your dad's middle name, Leslie. <laughs> But we could talk about that later. Right now, I want to do a diz. Wow! I talk about this paper. Oh. 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 It's the South End Echo. <laughs> It's the South End Echo 2008. And look, it's this pendejo and his stupid face. <laughs> it's all about this privileged cunt receiving ridiculous sums to teach piano to a mischievous young, fingerless scum who live off pillaged plums in your village's slum. <laughs> and it's a shame all Jimmy Savile jokes have been done. <laughs> It says here, the money came, came from the council's fix-it fund. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a photo of you, but you couldn't look more mental. <laughs> and in the caption it says, I want to be your mentor. <laughs> <laughs> And in your quote, in your quote it says, If I can stop just one kid from spray painting a wall, then my job is done. <laughs> Shit, son. Shit, son, you're about as hip-hop as grunge. <laughs> And it's not just that you're not hip-hop, you're the culture's enemy. Because graph is the third element. Yeah. Know, your yeah. know your chemistry. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, know the legend history. I'm exposing your myth. Because now the legend lives in me. Ogmios exists. Mm. Mm. And you've been scheming against hip-hop. But that's way too ironic. Because you've never put a scheme together or stayed on topic. Mm. You're from that one line of filler followed by a silly punchline school. You're on a two-bar loop, like your village pub crawl. Mm -hmm. Two more rounds left, it's on most prop round two. Come on, let's go. What I like about Ogmios is he never says anything violent or bad. You, how the fuck did you find that article? He's clearly got way too much time on his hands. <laughs> like, my dad's middle name is Leslie. <laughs> time. Let's go, bro. He teaches PE and chess on the side. I remember when I was less than nine, more hefty size. I detest your like, but I don't care if you're the more pleasant type. I could never have respect for guys who'd make me do exercise. <laughs> <laughs> and those look like the actress Jodie Foster's Nana's cozy jodhpurs. <laughs> No, I understand. It's got to be tough to shout at kids like a stern father and yell at the fat kids to work harder when it's such a long commute from Nirvana and yelling at miners makes your yoga flame burn faster. <laughs> <laughs> and even if I lose today, I'm glad. Because I finally got to stay and chat with someone I can legitimately claim I've had more bacon than. <laughs> P.S. I hate your cat. 
<laughs> PPS, I ate your cat. <laughs> my, man, my man loves nature. Catch him outside in tents made from vines and hemp. Happily putting organic jam on a slice of bread. <laughs> Granary. <laughs> putting, his, <laughs> putting his mind to rest, thinking of life and death. But I find it quite riling when someone takes a photo on a mountainside so fresh through an iPhone lens and claims to love nature when his name is ending iOS. <laughs> You see, Omnios likes chilling and dancing, he loves life, fulfills his dis-needs through battling and championing tough rhymes. Never a hard man, he always feels relaxed and he puffs pipes. Facebook shows his picture how a dream works, he's seen the natural enough times. Mm. Slow it down, I just dissed you. <laughs> I said he fulfills his di he fulfills his Disney through battling and champions tough rhymes. Never a hard man, he always feels relaxed and he puff pipes. Mm. His Facebook pics are how a dream works. Yeah. He's seen the natural enough times. Yeah. See, when I slow it down, it's on irrelevant themes. When he slows it down, you'll never leave. <laughs> I'll try my luck. With you, fear is hard to feel. You kind of suck and always seem impartial, chilled. And I don't have a bike to fuck or a car to steal, but if you'd like some lunch, I can give you my oyster card to grill. Ah, well, I guess oysters have feelings too, and I suppose deranging my transport arrangements isn't something you need to do. And what about the kids you're teaching, dude? Do they repeat it too? Do they aim at being you, acting totally like that, getting expelled for leaving semen all over the bike rack? <laughs> and what's his car called too? Said it wants his life back. <laughs> and when you're making him, when you're making him do eight laps to the playground, you're like, "Hey, Wilkins, see that guy over there with the grey cap and the strange frown? Yo, pick me up another eight bag on your way around. I'm a bit too blessed." <laughs> 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 you sound like flip tricks. <laughs> if he was a bit thick and spoke this quick, <laughs> Tam. So you're in a comedy rap group and an acting troupe on some Legs of Kimbo Freeform and you make soundtracks that sound like the demo songs of Casio keyboards. <laughs> <laughs> some might say that's a pretty prodigious output. I say you just projectile vomiting outwards. You'd be better without words. Your tracks are pure, basic outbursts. Your rap's Damien Hurst. A pretentious plagiarist trying to force a laugh. You'd only shit on the formaldehyde preserved corpse of a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Using a Mac and a mic to capture your postmodern farts. I'm a classical <laughs> to capture your postmodern farts. I'm a classical guy, but I don't respect Moe's art. Because your whole album is two silly dweebs who bicker about whose lightsaber is bigger. <laughs> So I gave up on a comedian like Bill Hicks liver. Wow. Or Richard Pryor's ticker. Wow. Wow. Because I don't have time for this type of comedian who sees the art of rhyme as some type of minor inconvenience to your surreal joke, which is what? That you're rapping geeky and awkward, but the painful truth is that's just you at peak performance. Wow. wow. So it's peak for this poor man, Scroobius Pip. You're an exuberant twit that got schooled by grist. And now you're getting what you need by this. The, the closest you come to being an MC is your name. But you're not paying homage to a great just trying to bomb on his fame. Because most Def works with Talib Kweli and De La Soul. You work with Toucan and a metronome. <laughs> Wow. And it's well known. It's well known. You and Toucan are metrosexual gnomes who use hip hop tempos to, syn to synchronize your menstrual flows. You're not meant for this, most. I see it in your eyes. You're a miserable soul, hiding your hatred within jokes like a minstrel show. Mm. <laughs> 
Don't mess with my Mr. Cool Glow. Uh. <laughs> I'm in the zone. I'm mentally lift a megalithic stone and fling it on your little toes. <laughs> but I'm finished with the jokes. I came to shatter your frame so your bones break. And then put your fragments back together. That's how you make a mosaic. Because mm. <laughs> oh god. god. Because oh god, god, I bring a plague wherever Moses is at. But still, he try and claim the credit because Moses is slack. My bars are packed with the goodness that Moses lack. You just got duff lines on tap. Moses is lack. Round three, most prob, let's do this. I'm surprised in that round you didn't talk about light that you refract, refract through a prism. You call me a miserable soul. Find me a creative person that isn't. <laughs> okay, there's a few, but whatever. See, in, against Bamalam, you said you were no longer a frequently weeded ponce. Don't claim you finished bleeding bombs like Cheech and Chong when it's all you rap about in each of your preachy songs, so watch me deconstruct him and rein him in like the machine from Tron. See, I got strong propellers set for top development, because most of the time, I sound like I'm not forgetting shit. You should, I should win by default for using proper sentences that are not irrelevant, and if Ogmios is the god of eloquence, I'm the prob of betterness. <laughs> you claim to be a deity, creator of language and semantics. We plainly see a lame MC with a failing handle on syllabics. It vaguely seems you're facing me and not a test, but I'm feigning, see, you're facing Nietzsche. God is dead. If, I, if I'm refreshers, you're Palmer Violets. To hip hop, you're a bit lost. Harmless silence. I'm just slinging brick blocks at the terracotta army of China. You're pissed off because my third eye isn't partially sighted. <laughs> See, that was an alright scheme, but all it proves is I have no trouble outperforming you. I go double. I can even out pseudo philosophical bullshit you. <laughs> Hell, I'm even better at awkward pauses too. <laughs> See, I like listening to Icelandic classical music. Yeah, but even I find your voice so relaxing it's stupid. I know, I know it's a fact you're a druid, so why is every action you pack in your rap so over dramatic and lucid and what are you factually proving when you lack the syllabic mechanics to act like you'd actually do it? I don't care if you rap about plants with tendrils, pen in your bars using a backward stencil with a transcendental pack of pencils whilst snorting down a ground down bag of lentils. <laughs> You deserve poison testicles, because your word choice is credible, but your slurred voice is terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure in that bulbous head of yours, your flow's the nicest and you have the dopest writing, but I've never seen an organic creative process like it. He sort of leaves words lying around and expects them to rhyme together with their own devices. <laughs> of course he's a precognitive master of chess that knows every move I make before I manage to step, because your eyes are so far apart, they're practically in the back of your head. <laughs> And this is a quite actual quote from Wikipedia. Ogmios is the Celtic god of eloquence. He looked like an older version of Heracles. He was also a binding god that used to tie men onto himself and drag them the Oh my god, that sounds like bumming. <laughs> <laughs> What more do I need to say? Like, that's it. <laughs> So yeah, I teach sports and chess and maths, anything. I, I enable young minds to think and win. You work for a credit card machine leasing company, enabling us to chip and pin. <laughs> you and your father both work in finance, hoarding your loot. I'm the karma of your life plans. I come to haunt this Scrooge. See, my first round was your past. The second you're present, next I'm dealing with your future, shit keeps getting more depressing. Cause I'm the ghost of Jacob Marley, talking to Nathan Barley. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Saying lay off the Charlie, you're out of touch like David Starkey. But we'll get to that later. Right now, I want to talk about this paper. <laughs> your dissertation on battle rap. 
8,000 words and a bit. About 7,000 don't actually have to exist for you to still be saying the exact same shit. <laughs> and this twat talks about her. Uh, like David Attenborough talks about birds. <laughs> 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 and so, uh... <laughs> uh in a hypnotic display <laughs> of ritual, insult, and ancient wordplay <laughs> vanquishes his rival, Kules. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll now receive a mate. Mate. You're not an anthropologist. You're a bankrolled apologist. For daddy and his politics. Stepping on the scene with the attitude of a colonist. But I'm crazy horse, bringing your apocalypse. Tracing the course of copper tips. Arrows that arrow through top and bottom lips and pin your tongue to your esophagus. <laughs> So now try and tell me about that degree of separation. We self-educated are a separate nation, essay, we break your reservations. Live, we won't lecture. Live, we won't lecture. These bankers have got to die. Wherever you campus, we'll kill you on sight. Don't barack us, we'll shoot your drone out the sky. You're barackers, cause round here, your BA don't fly. And now, and now your shit ain't popping off like a Bulgarian assassin. Okay. <laughs> I leave, I leave you laid there holes in most like Bavarian fashion. I'm the return of the killer hamster, you damned. You can flee, you can flee to Amsterdam, but you still have to take this dope anagram. See, first I kill the pros, then I take out the mob like Ghost Dog. I've wrote lots of encoded messages of death that have flown over the top. So when I ghost prob, all credit goes to Og. Mm. Yes. But you got the most blogs. <laughs> <laughs> all your entries are about film or known sex. <laughs> Except for one, when you go on a mad rant about how someone stole your specs. <laughs> What the hell did you expect? And why did I do it? <laughs> so you could really see my angle behind the lens like Liam Bagnall. <laughs> behind the lens like Liam Bagnall. Cause shit. What's the next bit? <laughs> Behind the lens like Liam Bagnall, because you wanted the action. So I cut to the chase. Shit. I'd put you out of frame in one take, because I spilled his blood. So you could focus on the red cam, because most prob dead. Pan. <laughs> <laughs> It's Marlo, uh, yeah, basically I was uh, judging uh, most portables of yours, uh, two of my favourites in the league, basically, so uh, pretty to judge. Fucking close battle as well, and that pissed me off as well, and I didn't like being judged for that reason, but yeah. Basically, it was a good one to judge, and uh, yeah, first round I gave to Ognios, second round I gave to Mois Brob, and then it came down to the third round pretty much, and just like, I mean, it was that close basically just because uh, Ognios had that slip up, like, I'll give it to Mois Brob, and like, that's, that's the only reason, like, fucking dope battle as well, so it's like this round. I give this battle just about to Ognios, man. It was incredible. I really want to big up Ross Prob's second round, the laxatives, on the right scheme. They were both hilarious. But I think to start off your first round with that massive prop and get really personal and keep it so, plus the whole screw jangle, even with the chokes in the third round, which really made me give it to Moss, I still just about edge it to Ognios. It's dope. It's really good battle. Yeah, G-PS5, Ognios versus Moss Pro, big battle right there. I'm gonna 
Ace just wants Ogmeo. I'm not going to lie, he nearly lost the whole battle in that third round because Ogmeo can't be took first. I think most props, Ace the second. And then Ogmeo was taking the third, he had the little still in the end. But Drew was only one bar to go. He was a slip of for less than the in the middle of the round. And then gives Ogmeo a very good bar for the young guy. Old English, I think um, the first two rounds I'm going to give to Ogmeo, so I think he was a bit more direct and what he did, he broke him down better with the, the Casio stuff and things like that, it was a lot more relevant, the, um, the echo, I thought that was a lot better, I thought, I've seen most clubs come a lot funnier and I thought that maybe he could have come with more killer things, but I think um, his third round, I think he took it, but I think that was also an absence of Ogmeo, because I think Ogmeo didn't come as good as he did in the first round, so 2-1, two, first two rounds of Ogmeo, last round, most club. You know what's your boy, mate? I'm giving this one to Ogmios for most of the first round, and Ogmios definitely took the last two rounds. For uh, the reason I'm giving the first round to most probably is because I'm not a big fan of props, so I wasn't feeling the echo thing. You know, how, it was very funny, but it just wasn't enough. But uh, uh, Ogmios definitely took the last two, like, despite that choke in the third as well, like, I think. Uh, yo, your PA don't fly here. That was, yo, the guy is nice, bro. The, the Ogmios is nice, bro. It's one of the ones you've got to watch out three, four times. It's fuck everything, but, you know, it's not. Uh, big and bold, Popeye. I'm like most probably biggest fan. Peace. Yes, what's Woo! good? Uh, main, main event is set the standard number five. Shouts to Batman. I said at Batman on DR, at Twitter on Twitter, at Don't Flop and everything, man. Uh, we had the main, main event of the day, man. My dude, Ogmios. Good night, guys. My dude, Moist Prop. Please show some love for the MCs. Yeah. Yeah. I've been trying to set that one up for a little while, so it's really fucking great. It was great battle, man. Everyone seemed to really, really enjoy that one. It was a 4-1 decision in the end. It went to Ogmios. So that's our most broke. That's the fucking main event. Let's go.